guys, how's it going YouTube? First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that came out to my karaoke night that happened on November 18. We had over 100 people that came and we raised $950, which was totally amazing. Thank you so much. So I just got back from Mavi Renal and let me tell you how amazing it felt. And for those of you that don't know what Mavi Renal is, it is a Tamil Remembrance Day, which is held on November 27th. So for those of you that don't know, I come from a country called Sri Lanka and the main population there is dominated by the Sinhalese and the next to them are the Tamils, but they have a whole bunch of other people there living as well. So many, many, many years ago, when the Sinhalese government was ruling the country, they, you know, kind of forgot to give us Tamils the equal rights as the Sinhalese did, which is totally not cool, right? So what happened was that, you know, the Tamils got a little frustrated. I think anyone would if they're not, you know, accepted into the same schools the Sinhalese did, didn't get the same jobs the Sinhalese did, even though they're more qualified than the person that was applying for it. You know, so basically we lost all of our basic human rights, which is not cool, right? So, you know, they've been living like that for a few years. And then one day a person came up and he said, you know what, I'm sick and tired of this. Why do we have to live as servants and slaves and have the shitty end of the deal in the country that we live in? And this amazing man's name is Prabhaharan, which later became the leader of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. Tamil Elam is what the Tamils call their part of the country. They wanted a separate nation, which is totally fair, right? I mean, you're not going to give us what we want, so then we're just going to take our side away from you and build our own government and have our own lives where we're treated as equally as every other person in the world. But the Sinhalese government said, nah. -uh. Sorry son, but this is my country and you're not getting any part of it. But you know, there's a lot of little details that I'm missing, but you can always go Google that, right? And then they had a whole bunch of peace talks and they talked and they fought for what they want. It wasn't happening. So they said, you know what? If a war is what you want, a war is what you're gonna get. And so began the liberation of the Tamil Tigers, AKA LTTE. So now they started an army, perfect. But what's gonna happen? I mean, how are they gonna buy weapons? How are they gonna eat? How are they gonna live? So of course, all the people that were in Sri Lanka obviously donated whatever they could, but people that left Sri Lanka, went abroad and made a life for themselves, they had a little bit more money to spare. So we would always go and send money and donate to them and help them out to live a life, you know, while they're fighting for their country, for their rights as a human. But after 30 something years of fighting this war, unfortunately the Tamils lost because the Sinhalese government had help from a bunch of countries around the world. Now I'm not being biased or anything, just telling you straight facts of what I learned and you can always learn the same thing by going on Google. A lot of you have heard about, you know, they closed down the gardener, damn these people, how do they just be so selfish and they do this. Yeah, we had to be a little selfish because no one was taking us seriously and no one was understanding what was actually going on in Sri Lanka and why we were actually fighting this war. We were labeled as terrorists because we were fighting for our human rights. How is this fair? Having these protests and standing in front of the parliament is the only way that we were able to help these people win this war because no matter even if we're not living in the country anymore, that's still our home and we still want to protect it. But now that we lost this war, it saddens me so much that there are so many people out there that are looking down on these amazing soldiers that risk everything. They sacrifice their entire life to go fight for us and now they're being looked down upon just because they lost. So now people are are sitting there and they're saying oh you know I sent all this money and now look what happened they just lost the war so what look at all my money just went down the drain <sighs> Wait a second, are you freaking kidding me right now? While you sat at home all comfortable, these people were in the woods and you had the audacity to sit there and complain that you wasted money on these people? Maybe we should give that money to all the soldiers so they can restart their life. How about that, huh? And I only recently found out that a lot of these people are shunning these soldiers away just because, you know, they're scared that, oh, maybe the army will come back and, you know, if they're living in our house and we might get in trouble for that. Yo, these past soldiers are your brothers and sisters. They're the ones who fought for you so you can have a good life. And it's just sad to think that the people today who say, oh, they shouldn't have gone to war in the first place are the same people who were the first to donate and the first person to stand there when they were doing a protest. But after going to Mavirina today, I was so happy, you know, going there and seeing all these people who are still paying their respects for these hundreds and thousands of people who were there today. From morning to night, there's people coming and going and it's just beautiful it's beautiful to see how united we can become so those people that are out there who are shunning our soldiers you guys should really take a minute to look at that 
we are here and we're appreciative for things that they've done for your life in Sri Lanka to be better. How come you guys can't see that? And you know, for everyone that's sitting there just saddened that we don't have a country for us, a country to call our own, you guys have to remember that our whole world is our country. Our people are in Europe, they're in North America, they're in Asia, they're everywhere. And every single country has accepted us for who we are. And even in Canada, we have a Tamil Heritage Month that's being recognized by the government. If we can't be recognized in the one country that we were supposed to be in, forget it. Who cares? You know what? Okay, we don't have that one country, but look at all the other countries that we have. We should be so happy and so grateful for all these countries to be taking us in and to be able to give us that basic human rights and the basic equality that we desired in Sri Lanka. And I truly, truly believe that one day we're going to be recognized the exact same in our very own country. Because Pulihalan Taham, Tamililataiham. And that will never end.